Hi, my name is Jack. I'm part of the church resources team here at Youth for Christ. Now, love is an interesting word. It's a word that's thrown around quite a lot. I often say that I love Netflix, but I also say that I love my family and my wife. And I think the way that I love them is a little bit different. And uh, the Bible says this about love. It says, so now I'm giving you this new commandment. This is Jesus speaking. So now I'm giving you a new commandment. Love each other just as I have loved you. You should love each other. Now in this verse, Jesus is telling us to love each other, but he's talking about everyone. He's talking about loving everybody in your community, everybody that you know, you're called to love them just as Jesus loves you. In another verse in the Bible, uh, it says that we need to love our enemies even. And that could be really hard because how can you love somebody that you don't even like? It, it's, it's, it's impossible, right? The thing is, in today's culture, love is almost a feeling. It's the way that we think about something or someone. It might be that we feel very positively towards somebody or someone, and so we say we love them. But that's not love at all. You see, love is a choice to act. There's a story in the Bible, and I've mentioned it in previous videos, but it's about a group of friends who have a, a paralyzed man with them, another friend, um, and they wanna bring him before Jesus um, so that Jesus can pray and um, heal this man. But you see, the crowd is so big that they can't seem to get to Jesus. So what they do is they carry this man on top of the building, they rip a hole in the roof and they lower this man before Jesus for Jesus to then heal. Now, those men could have said that they, they loved that man, the man who was paralyzed. But if they said they loved him and then they just left him there and walked away, that wouldn't really look like love, would it? There's a charity called Compassion, and what Compassion do is they find young people who are in poverty, and they give them education, they give them food, they give them medical care, and they introduce them to Jesus. And I heard a story of someone who had been through this program, who had been brought out of poverty, and was now um, going to uh, university, was completely in love with Jesus, and they said, the thing about Compassion was that it was love in action. By giving me education, by giving me medical care, by funding these things, actually what that showed me was love in action. And you see, that's the whole point. Love does. Love isn't just a feeling. It's not just a thought. It's not just some positive feelings towards something or someone. Love is a choice to act. And I don't know what that looks like for you in, in the online spaces that you're in, I think it's so important, I think that it's biblical, and I think God calls us to love everyone around us in our communities, even in online spaces. So maybe you could write a prayer for somebody and send it to them. Maybe you could send them a quote or something really encouraging, maybe a Bible verse and send that to a friend. I don't know what it looks like for you, but maybe you could take this time to reach out to your friends and to your family and to show them love by the way that you act online. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.